Okay, so let's see if it geeks out on me again, you guys. Hopefully it does not. Um, I restarted the router, rebooted the internet. I'm not getting any error messages this time, so hopefully that will do okay. So, um, I have a mini haul. First and foremost, and we'll get this out of the way. Um, I saw another consultant that I watch on YouTube preview her brand new doormat sensi doormat and then i had to have one <laughs> so not that ups and fedex don't already understand that there's a sensi consultant here and it's not like anybody else visits um for the most part still these days because we live in the middle of nowhere but just in case um because i do have some people pick up we do live in the middle of nowhere we have a gas station and a family dollar what else constitutes the middle of nowhere you got a liquor store too I don't need a liquor store or maybe I do I don't know but so I got a really nice like oh god this is super thick high quality um, welcome mat for the front door of the house which I'm excited about so there is no chance of anybody walking up to the house and be like hmm wonder who lives here so yes um, I did pick up also a six pack of scent circles because every order I put in, I always make sure I get some scent circles. Uh, not that I was running low for any reason at the current moment, but I always like to make sure I have extras. So black raspberry vanilla, we've got a Luna, um, some cocoa lime, the new Fiji flower. I picked up an extra of those and two in the scent of the month, Palm Beach Breeze, which is currently available by the way, um, and Divine. Love it, love it, love it. And then I got just a few things from the Father's Day collection, but they're kind of all mixed in. So <laughs> I did want to try some of the pods. So I think all my pods are on top. So instead of doing first sniffs for Father's Day in wax, we're gonna do first sniff for Father's Day in pods because that's what's on top. Okay. So I've got, I am now, <laughs> because I got my whiff box and got a sniff of that Fiji flower, I am now obsessing over this Fiji flower. So I did pick up two of the pods in Fiji flower. <sighs> it's really good. It's the super sweet, like bright, crisp floral. Oh goodness. Ooh, obsession. This is gonna be like right up there with sugared strawberry, I think. Then I did pick up a set of pods in Luna. So I have, Luna is like one of our, is the number one selling Scentsy fragrance. And I kind of like OD'd on it because I was like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. And I had to take a step back, but I always, Luna's really, really good. It's just like this beautiful, soft, sweet, not powdery floral. So I'm coming back around to some Luna. And then I did pick up two pods in Perfect Gentleman because I do believe this will be my favorite out of the collection and one pod in Vanilla Bourbon. So, okay. Perfect Gentleman, and I've got my description over here for you guys, is a charismatic blend of white amber and oak moss with a sleek finish of fresh marine water. Which one's that one? This is Perfect Gentleman. Come give this a sniff, because this gives me Mystery Man vibes with maybe just like a hint more of like a fresh, clean, like smell behind it. This is the one I wanted to get you in body wash, but... It smells good. I didn't think you were going to use any of the shave cream. Now I'm probably going to have to get you some of that. Is that the same thing? Yeah. So I picked up two pods for you in Perfect Gentleman. Okay. And then we have a pod of vanilla bourbon. So let me get to that okay. description. You want to do first sniff or you want me to do first sniff? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so vanilla bourbon is warm vanilla and a smooth sip of bourbon mingle under a hint of nutmeg. That smells good. You like that one? It smells kind of, it's like a sweet crown royal. All right, so let's see, because I wasn't sure we were going to like this one. Ooh, you like this? Yeah. Okay, it is all yours. I do not... I think it's the nutmeg. This is like, it's like spicy. I don't, yeah. But I like crown though too. That's very true. You do like crown. Dad would probably like this then. 
Yes, you would, because it smells like crumb. Oh, goodness. Yeah, this, this straight smells like spicy alcohol to me. Not a fan of this one. I do like the Perfect Gentleman. It is... This is just like a brighter version of Mystery Man, in my opinion. Because Mystery Man is like really kind of like deep and rich. That one smells good. I do like the Perfect Gentleman. Ooh. Okay, so Perfect Gentleman, yay for me. Um, vanilla Bourbon, yay for James. <laughs> it also smells like uh, Captain Morgan's. A little strong, a little uh, like Captain Morgan. You're going to make me smell this. I don't even know what any of those smell like. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. That's just like straight bad liquor. <laughs> Captain Morgan and Cromwell are not bad liquor. Okay, but I don't like to drink them. Okay, so now let's get on to the main event. So there are, normally, uh, Sensi does bring back my bar twice a year. Once in spring and summer, once in fall and winter. The Bring Back My Bars will be available starting on June 1st, but Consultant Perk, we got an opportunity to get our hands on all 25 bars this time early. So previously it had always been 20 bars, but we are getting five bonus bars um, this time around, which I'm super excited about. Or No, maybe it was 25 and then our bonus bars were some of the Easter ones, I think. Toasted marshmallow, banana berry, and something else. Um, but we're going to dig in. I have never smelled a single one of these. And I know that sounds crazy because I've been using Scentsy for so long. But, like, I had my go-to fragrances. I never branched out. It was whatever I could pick up. I'm excited for these. So, okay. Let's grab a few of these out and stack them on the desk in front of me. And we will find the Perfect Gentleman bar and the Vanilla Bourbon bars in there somewhere. Because I did pick up some of those. I, they're just lost in there. Okay, so I've got a few to start with. Okay, so first we have, ooh, and this is fun, watermelon mint. Watermelon mint, or yeah, watermelon mint. They're all in alphabetical order. Oh, we got a lot of watermelon going. So I do like the green front and the red backing, so it does kind of look like an actual watermelon. So watermelon mint is a chilled slice of sweet watermelon sprinkled with a bracing fresh mint makes a refreshing summer treat. Okay, not a winner for me. Um, watermelon mint. Well, here, yeah, it, it does smell like straight watermelon and just like extra mint. Lex will like that one. No, <laughs> See, way too much mint. No. Okay, so watermelon mint is not a yay. If you do like watermelon, though, and I'm not a watermelon fan, Lex is a huge watermelon fan, this will be a good one for you. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Oh, I don't know. I, I These are like two that I really wanted, Palo Santos and Ocean. Okay, so we'll, we'll start with Palo Santos. I think this one is like way up my alley but you can see they changed their packaging this time around so it's the original packaging on it and there's like this little bring back my bar sticker on it so palo santo is uh palo santo wood charred cedar bark and teak are the ultimate dream boat blend oh i love the woodsy oh this one's good this one's really good <sighs> smells like the mahogany teak wood yes if you have ever smelled mahogany teakwood from Bath and Body Works, Palo Santo is right there. It smells better. Oh, I yeah, love the woodsy. Wood. If you are in my wheelhouse on the woodsy, Palo Santo is a yay. Um, next one we have out of the box and is Ocean. So cool and refreshing, aquatic notes, um, deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. So you can see here I have my little cheat sheet <clears throat> so I'm reading you what Sensi says about them first because I'm terrible at picking out scents. Ooh. Oh, this is going in my clip. Oh, I like this. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. Oh. I like that one. Yeah. This is like just like fresh, aquatic, kind of manly. Like there's a little bit of like cologne to it. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, Ocean is a winner. I did do a little bit of club clean out knowing this was coming. I got rid of some of the things that I wasn't going through quite fast enough. 
Um, next one out is Strawberry Swirl. So, frozen strawberry swirl whipped with frothy milk and vanilla. Oh, this is, this is nice. This smells like a strawberry milkshake. Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, it does. Ooh, I like this. That's, it's very heavy on the strawberry. So, it is like an authentic, like, strawberry milkshake with an oh, overload of the strawberry. Really, I like that. This is not like a sugared kind of strawberry, although I love sugared strawberry. No, it smells like fresh strawberry. Yeah, it smells like fresh strawberries that are ground up in a milkshake. Oh. Okay, that's a winner. Uh, we have Summer Soleil. This one is pineapple and coconut milk, top fluffy vanilla and marshmallow. I don't like that one. Too sweet. Oh no, I do. I will like this one. I like the pineapple and coconut scents. I have found that I really like the pine, like the coconut. Oh, come on, bar. It's really in there. I'll mess with that later. This is really nice. Ooh, I think this will be on the light side, so it'll be a good one to melt upstairs, though. Come on out. It doesn't want to come out. All right, I'll just hand it off. Hi, Mama. That summer soleil is good, though. I don't really get, like, a, like a marsh. Like, you don't sniff it and smell marshmallow, but there's, like, it's really sweet and beautiful. Yeah, just sniff it. We'll worry about it later. <laughs> He's trying to get it out of the package for me. I got it. I got it halfway out. Woo woo! Go, James. What do you think of That's that? That's nice and light. Yeah, this one's this will be pretty upstairs. So he got it out. It smells good. It smells really good. Oh, this smells like something else, but I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is, but it's beautiful. This is lovely. Okay. We have fresh cut daisies. This is probably not going to be up my alley. I'm going to guess it's very, very floral. So we got a beautiful white wax with the yellow front. <coughs> a meadow awash in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Let's see. It is extremely floral. Um, it's not bad floral. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Welcome Summer, which I did enjoy. I think this, it's got kind of almost like almost kind of like a soapy quality to it. Mm -hmm. Kind of smells like soap, like a body care. Yeah, like a lotion. Yeah, like a floral body care lotion. So mm -hmm. I like the bottom better than I like the top. Mm. Yeah, this smells, I can see this in body care real easy. <laughs> Ooh, maybe yours. Come over, come over. I've got all of the bring back my bars for early sniffing. <laughs> Just pop on by. Okay, oh, this is probably up your alley, Mama. So blue hyacinth, <coughs> florals from heaven, pure blue hyacinth is all about the flower power. Ooh, I actually like this. I'm surprised, I don't like florals a whole lot. This one's nice. <sighs> Well, no, you can't take home the ones you want just yet. Yeah, that one's good. This is my this is my sniff and sample kit, but I can order them for you on June first. Just because I'll be in Disney then doesn't mean that I'm going to stop seeing <laughs> stop being able to tap into my sensi. So, oh, I like that. <laughs> James says yes, it does. So apparently, I am required to be sensi free, even though I have every intention of packing my laptop for nighttime. Oh, that's really good. Oh, I love that hyacinth. Okay, let's see what's, what's, let me, let me pull the next stack out. Ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> well, I'm not like taking a Scentsy bag with me to Disney, Mom, but I, I can't unplug for that long. I'm incapable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. But what am I gonna do while you're playing games on your phone at night and ignoring me when you're t when we're tired and we're done? I don't know. I thought we'd watch a movie or something instead of messing with phones and electronics. Okay, all right. Hey, I if you're willing to do that, I'm willing to give up my laptop. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm not packing my laptop. It's been decided. 
Uh, oh gosh, okay, there's so many things in front of me right now. All right, Candy Crave. Um, done with being at the park and being like out and about. Although I am down for drinks by the pool in the evening. Okay, so Candy Crave. This is available in body care. I think this was originally part of a kid's line. Oh, you didn't smell blue hyacinth. Yes, you know? I did. Did you? Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so um, candy crave. So just the sweet stuff, raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, and fluffy, mar fluffy marshmallow. Oh, that's not bad. This one's actually really nice. Um, it doesn't, like, reading candy crepe doesn't, and all the things in it, raspberry sorbet, cotton candy, marshmallow. You would think this would be, like, ridiculously sweet. It seems kind of like a stronger version, almost, of, like, now and zen. I like that. It smells really good. I think I need this in, in the shower gel. Ooh, this is, it, it actually smells like clean. Yeah, you need to pick the men's one up. I want to see how those do. Okay, I'll, I will get you the men's one. I was going to do it, but it comes as the bundle with the shape creams, and I didn't think you wanted those. So I didn't bother. Shape creams are shape creams, eh? Well, it's got like a, well, here, I can, I can show you. Let me just pull this for him. He can read it over my shoulder while I do the next bar. Okay, Shop Father's Day. I liked this one. I will not, you're not getting vanilla bourbon because I don't want to smell you like that. Um, <laughs> I do not want you to smell like a, like a drink out of the liquor store. Okay, Wild Black Cherry, a sweet and juicy black cherry, like an old fashioned black cherry soda. Ooh. Oh, I just smelled that, I like that. Wow, that's sweet. Yes, but it comes with the other two things. Yeah, the fine. shape, same. Holy smokes, that is sweet. I won't use a lotion, but. It's not a lotion. It's a shave gel oh, stuff. Well, then I'll use a gel. And like an aftershave. Yeah. Wow, that, that makes my eyes water. That one is, you can just sniff the top. You don't even need to get out of the thing. Yeah, that smells like a, like a gum. Yeah, I can't uh, think of which gum though. It's 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 wild black cherry. It smells like soda. It smells like a really really strong, overpowering. Like um, a crush. Like, one of the, like, like yeah, crush like a crush. Wow, that's strong. Um, this is probably gonna be a powerhouse. <whistles> yeah, that's a bit much for me. Um, but I'm gonna guess that I could probably mix this with like a vanilla bean buttercream and tone that down, so it's not quite so strong. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, next one up is mulberry bush, sweet mulberry, uh, uh, accented with bittersweet orange peels. No, that's what I. Oh, I like this one. This one's nice. Which one's that one? This one is mulberry bush. It also smells kind of like a candied. Um, that's gonna be strong too, but. It's not quite as strong. It almost smells like a, a Jolly Rancher. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, it does. I like it, though. Oh, it smells good. I like it, though. See, it smells like a Jolly Rancher. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, so we have Love Story. This is not, okay, Lucky and Love is the one that I have heard so stinking much about and never spelled it, or smelled it. Uh, Love Story is... Uh, innocent pink jasmine and sensual amber embraced by luscious dark chocolate. What? <laughs> the word chocolate got your attention? Yep. Of course it did. Ooh, this is nice. I don't know that I get chocolate, though. Just hmm. get chocolate thing. <laughs> I get the jasmine. I get the amber. I'm not sure that I get chocolate. Yeah, the jasmine is really strong. It's nice, know. though. I don't get chocolate. Yeah, I don't get chocolate. This one's kind of sweaty because it's a darker wax. So they were obviously sitting in the um, box, but we should be getting ice packs in with all of our shipments now going forward. That's nice. I, mean, I don't think I'm like, woo, crazy about it, but it's nice. Um, I picked up an extra bar of Fiji flour. <sighs> I am now obsessed. That was in with my Father's Day bundle. Oh, here, honey, vanilla bourbon in a bar. So this is part of Father's Day collection. I'm so scared, you guys. Yeah, no, this is 100% not for me. I want you. <laughs> We're going to have to figure out. You can have the pods. You feel 
well, you gotta burn some of the, you gotta do some of the wax, too. Oh, you're oven. gonna make me do that? Yes, because you have to burn that freaking weathered leather. You can deal with it. I don't melt that for us. Okay, French kiss. Okay, French kiss is, let's see, let's see. It's all in alphabetical order. Sweet fig, <coughs> tenderly caressed by coconut pulp, exotic cedar, and caramel. This sounds up my alley. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, give me more of that. Okay, I think I found the next bar that's going into the club. Sweet fig. Oh, but it's it's got sweet fig, coconut, I get mostly cedar. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hello, cedar. That smells really good. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. French kissed is club worthy for this household. Okay, next one is my wish. Um, a confection of earthly fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. Oh. <laughs> This, she wasn't kidding. Okay, so I watch Hannah Blazin on YouTube, and she got hers in a couple days ago. So I've been waiting for this. Smell that and tell me what it reminds you of. It's making you think of something, isn't it? It is, but I can't think of what. It smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. Oh, I wouldn't know about those. It totally, she wasn't kidding. It totally smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my wish. Yeah, fig, violet, and marshmallow. It does. It completely, I, like, I'm going to have to go to Target now and buy a Cabbage Patch doll just to verify. But she said it in her video. I'm like, there's no way. It totally smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is one I'm looking forward to. Lemon Thyme Berry. Um, and you would think that it would be yellow with lemon but okay so lemon thyme berry sparkling lemonade um and strawberry sprinkled with crushed thyme oh this is good this is like a like like a strawberry lemonade a little bit like sugared strawberry-esque well it's got that twist of the citrus and the lemon in there i like that oh yeah no for you mm. <clears throat> I like that. Okay, lemon thyme berry is an eh for him and a, and a woohoo for me. This is one that I think you are going to like, Jet Set Go. This is what I was looking forward to. Uh, Jenny says hi. Hello. <laughs> hi back. <laughs> okay, so jet off to a balmy tropical paradise of Brazilian orange, jungle papaya, and island vanilla. Oh. <laughs> he says mm, in the background. Let's see. I think, oh, mm. It kind of reminds me of the stitch bar, but it's really, really light. Oh, that's a bummer. I want that to be a powerhouse. That's super light. Yeah. Like, I'm having a hard time smelling. Like, I want it to be strong. Yeah, that's, that'll work good in the bedroom. Yeah. Hmm. It's, it's, I mean, it smells good. You might have to do like three of them at a time. It's though. just really, Jet Set Go is really, really light. I like to be knocked over by my wax. Let's see. Okay, next one is Spring Forward. Um, spring Forward is, if sunshine had a scent, it would be this burst of Italian bergamot. You've got me at bergamot. Uh, raspberry jam. Love raspberry and cedarwood. Let's see. Mm. Again, very light, but this will be really nice upstairs. That's, that smells like a good, like, falling asleep to it fragrance. I, it doesn't necessarily scream spring forward for me. No. He's over there shaking his head. No. So I was expecting that one to be better. Let's see what else we got in here. We got more bars. Let's try to get the rest of them out <coughs> if I can, so I can stop. Well, now I'm gonna do this because right. I want to throw the box on the floor. 
All right, come on. Dean, Dean is laying on my new mat. Okay, got them all. All right. Ooh, where do we go? Where do we go? Uh, oodles of orange. Okay, so I've heard a lot of this. This did come out as part of a kids collection before. Kids will love, see, kids collection. Kids will love this sweet citrusy scent punched up with fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom, and ripe bunches of tropical berries. Ooh, this oh. is good. Oh, I like this better than sun-kissed citrus. It's very sun-kissed citrus-esque, but it's got like that extra like tropical twist. Yeah, <laughs> this one's going in his club. Yeah. Well, my club for him. That smells really good. Yeah, so this is like sun-kissed citrus and then you get that mango. Oh, I love the mango. Oh, it's really good. It smells like fresh mango. Oh, if you're a citrus fan, it's really good. Oh gosh. Yep, okay, club worthy. Understand all the hype. We have sweet pea and vanilla. <laughs> Let's see, sweet pea and vanilla. Ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. Oh no, this is nice. This is really nice. Sweet pea is one of the, the florals that you don't mind when I melt because it's not like a super like powdery, like rose kind of floral. Oh, that's really good. Um, it's on the lighter side, but I would say that's probably about a medium on cold. It might really lighten up when we put it in the warmers. That smells good. Yeah, this one's really nice. Oh, crap. My club is going to be out of... It's, my club is already out of control. I have two. Oh, that's really good. Okay, sweet pea and vanilla is a winner. Um, we've got Rock and Ruby Raz. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see here. Jen, you are welcome to come back over and sniff. Um, or I am going to Homewood on Tuesday to meet with my cousin Vicki. Um, so a fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberry, and sweet candy glaze all wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. This is probably going to be up James's alley because he's got a sweet tooth. Uh, da, da, da. Let me smell the bottom. It smells like something else, but I can't put my finger on it. This is bright. It is very sweet. It's very like fruity and citrusy Whoa. oh <laughs> that smells like uh it smells like I, something but i don't know what like it is the run. the run candies like uh like the, the strawberry run oh i don't know well the banana berry smells like the banana oh, runs okay well then it smells like but i think rock and ruby raz and banana berry came out in the same collection originally this is nice we will melt that it, i think it smells good. You know what? It smells like rainbow sherbet. That's what it is. That's what I got going in the other room. That's what it's reminding me of is the rainbow sherbet. Okay. Um, very good, though. Like that. Um, another bar of vanilla bourbon. Any takers. Take it off my hands. Not I'm sending it to my in-laws. What? <sighs> well, what? mom loves Scentsy. Mm, this is the perfect gentleman. So this is the other bar. This... Oh, in wax, it is, it's like a mixture of Mystery Man meets My Dear Watson. Oh, that's the perfect gentleman. That is a keeper. I like that. Oh, yeah, we already smelled that one. Perfect gentleman? Yeah, but we smelled it in pods, and sometimes it's different in wax. Oh, this is really good in wax. That is a keeper. Yeah, Reminds me a little bit of Zeppelin, our original, like, yeah. manly, scentsy fragrance. Reminds me a little bit of Zeppelin with that aquatic in it. Total keeper. Love it. Um, white tea and cactus is next up top. Uh, white tea and cactus. A clean, crisp, and refreshing floral mix with green notes. Um, not my jam. Not my jam. It is very green and very tea. <laughs> It smells like a plant. Like a potted plant. It smells like fresh cut grass. Okay, I'll give you fresh cut grass. But not good fresh cut grass. Okay, white tea and cactus is a no. 
Um, watermelon patch. Let's come back to some more watermelon for Lexi, which is fine because she's <coughs> got a warmer in her room now. Sweet vine ripened watermelon. So it should be just straight watermelon. Okay, that's better. That's better. The watermelon mint was like the super strong, like candied watermelon. Mint um, it's still not my favorite, but it does smell like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. That smells more like watermelon. Yeah, this smells more authentic. Yeah. Like mm. That's definitely more authentic. And Sandra, I agree with you. I love the man scents. I am here for it on all of the manly scents. Um, the vanilla bourbon, not so much. That's too much of a man scent for me, but that uh, perfect gentleman I do love. And Nenny, I got one for you. Coffee tree. <laughs> yes. We need more coffee too. I am 100% here for all the coffee. Uh, bold and sophisticated. Wake up to the rich aroma of freshly roasted coffee beans. Give me all the coffee. Oh, yes. Yes to the coffee. Oh, yeah. Come on, bar. You can tell these are freshly poured. They haven't even had time to pull away from their sides yet. Not even a little bit for the most part. Oh, I love coffee. This just smells like straight coffee. So unlike Mocha Doodle, Mocha Doodle has more of like a, um, like a gourmet, like Starbucks-y kind of blend to it, which don't get me wrong. I'm in love with that. And then I like to ramp it up. Yeah, ooh, <laughs> over here. That I like, like, a, like a coffee chocolate. Uh, yeah, like, like those chocolate, cho like the chocolate covered coffee beans that you mm. can get at Starbucks. Yeah. This is good. Coffee tree is really good, um, but it is different from Mocha Doodle. Like I said, Mocha Doodle smells more like a latte. This smells more like coffee, coffee. coffee. Oh, yes. Yes. Keeping that one. We got another bar of Perfect Gentleman. You could tell that I already knew which one was going to be my favorite. Um, we have three left. So we have uh, Lucky in Love. Uh, Kahiko Hula and Honeymoon Hideaway. Which one should be next? What do you want next? Do the white one. Do the white one. Okay, so Honeymoon Hideaway. Um, Honeymoon Hideaway, this is another one that I've heard a lot about. Escape to a secluded retreat of dew-kissed lily and sweet tart kiwi shaded by lush coconut palm. Sounds like where we're headed on Friday. And it smells like where we're headed on Friday. Bring me the Florida. It is on, I would say this is probably light to medium though. It is very nice though. It's just kind of like fresh and clean. It just yeah. smells like being outside yeah, in Florida. Smells, that one smells good. Yeah. Hmm. This one I would say is probably an upstairs one for us, but then again, Honeymoon Hideaway. Sounds like it belongs upstairs anyways, because basically this is kind of like ours. Um, so Kahiko Hula, let's see what we got going here. Uh, I can't remember my alphabet, there it is. Okay, it was throwing me off because the package is pink and I was looking for pink and the wax is yellow, so it's yellow on my sheet. Um, say aloha with exotic passion fruit, mango and papaya. Oh, this is definitely tropical. Ooh, come on, bar. Oh, yeah, this is like pure mango. That smells just like straight mango and passion fruit. I like it. That's like nice. That. Yeah, that one's good. <laughs> and the last, last one, but obviously not the least one, is the most talked about bar in the entire Bring Back My Bar collection. So supposedly this smells like Victoria's Secret's Love Spell, which I have never smelled before. Um, I don't use Victoria's Secret body fragrance. I had always been a Bath and Body Works girl, um, specifically, um, oh, I can't think about it because I haven't used it in so long. Um, Moonlight Path, thank you, my husband knows, that's better. Um, but I've always been a Moonlight Path user and I have completely switched my body care all to Sunsy products. 
because they're fabulous and I love them and I don't have to leave my house to get them. Because um, <laughs> I can't tell you the last time I've been to the mall. It's been well over a year. Um, okay, so Lucky and Love. Let's see. And it's this beautiful like lavender, lilac-y color. Um, a sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with hints of peach and berries. I do love Moonlight Path. Um, let's see. I don't... This is kind of a letdown. I think I've heard so much, like, crazy stuff about this bar that it probably couldn't, like, live up to. And, like, it's not bad, but I don't see, like, whoo, all the hoopla about it. I feel more excited about Oodles of Orange. <laughs> Yeah, it's not like I'm not, it's not like, oh my God, this is a terrible fragrance. I like it. But I don't feel like it knocked my socks off. So it's okay. Um, I probably did. I mean, I hear so many people talking about it nonstop. I watch way too much YouTube. I should probably stop doing that. Um, no, there's other, there's other bars in here that I like better. I mean, it's, it's nice. I'll, I'll melt it. Um, it's totally not club worthy in my opinion. So, all right, you guys, that is first sniffs on the entire Bring Back My Bar collection. Um, I definitely will be getting samples out. If there's something specific that you want to get your nose on, make sure you comment down below or shoot me a private message. Um, truthfully, I probably, mm, I'm not sensing on, on vacation at all. No, no sensing. They launched June 1st. Okay, he's giving me dirty eyes. So we're, we are getting back the night of June 1st. So I'm not going to commit to sending out samples or getting samples out before we return. So you, you have, no, 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 because we still gotta pack and get our stuff done. But if there's anything in this collection that you want to get your nose on. First of all, we don't leave till Friday. You're welcome to come over to my house before then and stick your nose in all the bars. If you have specific samples that you want sent out to you, if you are not local to me, or you don't want to wait until I get back from Florida, <coughs> um, just comment down below. Let me know which ones you're excited about and I will catch you guys all later. Bye-bye.